Alright, hello guys, and welcome to my 2019 summer forecast. This is our preliminary forecast, and I expect to make one or two or even three more of these as we go on. Depending on how much it needs changed, I will be continuing to update these about once a month uh, up until about June. So right before June, I'll put out the final one, and that'll be our final summer forecast. If this is your first video of mine, please consider subscribing as you watch this video. I do content like this all the time, weekly forecasts, monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, and even forecasts for specific storms that are hitting. Like right now, we're doing snowstorms, but we will be doing more severe weather and hurricanes as the year goes on. Now we're looking at our temperature forecast right now and I'm going to break it down for you guys. We have a area of light blue and this is where we're expecting a pretty good chance at below average temperatures. Uh, it is my it is my lightest shade of blue, meaning we have the least confidence in this out of the three. Uh, but as of right now, it looks like this is where the cold temperatures will set up. So four corner states, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas as well. All these areas look to see some slightly below average temperatures. Now we have a lot of that kind of lightest shade of orange that extends from the Pacific Northwest up into Montana, the Dakotas, and then back down into the all of the eastern United States, southeast Gulf states, mid-Atlantic, northeast, Great Lakes area. We're all looking at those conditions. We do have two sections of our medium orange, and this is where I'm expecting a moderate chance of above average temperatures. That's for northern Oregon, northern Idaho, uh, portions of Montana as well, and then all of Washington State. That's where we're expecting some above average conditions. Also, from northern Minnesota down through the Great Lakes into Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York City, and the rest of the northeastern United States and the New England portions of the United States. We're going to move on to our precipitation forecast now, and we can see there is a slight chance at below average precipitation for the Pacific Northwest, Northern Can uh, California, that is, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, and the Dakotas, looking at a pretty good chance at below average precipitation. Now, in the eastern United States, we have a pretty good chance at above average precipitation in this lightest shade of green that extends from Texas up through Oklahoma, Kansas, Iowa, Missouri, uh, Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin, Michigan, and eastward from there all the way to the coast. We're expecting a pretty good chance at above average precipitation. But we do have a medium shade of green there uh, from Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, portions of upstate New York, New York City, Long Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. That's where I expect a pretty good chance at above average precipitation. And this brings me back to kind of August, September time frame of last summer where we had a lot of precipitation in this area. I don't think it's going to be quite that extreme, but I do think that you will uh, be kind of the most above average area uh, once again for the summertime. Now we're going to move on to our overall forecast. I'm going to break it down area by area from west to east. Now in the northwestern United States, we're expecting drier and warmer conditions. Keep in mind these areas are very, very wet, especially, especially the, the Pacific Northwest. So it might not be too noticeable, and it, sh it should still be wet. It's just going to be a little bit drier than it typically would be. In our gray area that extends from California up through Nevada and then up into the Dakotas, Wyoming, Montana, that's where we expect more near normal conditions, and it's not going to feel any uh, certain type of way in that gray area. Now, in the four corner state, into Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas, all alike, we, we were going to see colder than normal conditions. It is going to feel quite uh, cold. I expect a lot of, uh, especially for the mountains, you know, 70s. Uh, I know there's a lot of deserts in that area where you're going to you're gonna see 90s, and that's actually going to be cold for you guys because a lot of areas in there uh, could expect 100 or 110s a lot. So, uh, it, uh, nevertheless, it's going to be a little bit colder than you would typically expect. In our red area, we have an above average severe weather uh, risk here. So I think a lot of the severe weather is going to set up in this area from, from Nebraska, portions of Wyoming and South Dakota, down through Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. This area is a little bit further east than it typically would be. Uh, typically, you'd see it set up a little bit more over the Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas area, uh, but I think it's going to be a little bit further east this summer, and this has been a trend over the last 20 years uh, where we've been seeing it kind of be a little bit further east, so I think that continues this year as well. We have a golden area here, and this isn't really titled with anything, but this is where I expect slightly above average temperatures from the Dakotas through Minnesota, down through Iowa, Illinois, and into uh, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, all those golden areas are going to expect slightly above average temperatures. In our purple area here for the Gulf states and some of the uh, southeastern coast of the United States, it's where it's kind of a question mark for hurricane season. As we go on to the later forecast for summer, I'll have a lot more of a clearer view for the hurricane season, 
but that's a lot more based on the on the um, sea surface temperatures and we don't really have a very accurate depiction of what that's going to be quite yet uh, but in the future forecast for summer we will be able to talk a lot more about hurricane season and what that entails we do have an area of above average precipitation from illinois indiana southern michigan ohio kentucky Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, D.C., Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and portions of New York uh, as well. That's where, again, I expect the most precipitation comparatively to normal uh, to take place. And then we have a warmer than normal section from Minnesota down through Wisconsin and Michigan and then up into the New England states of the United States uh, as well as uh, upstate New York, some of those uh, mountainous regions there. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this summer forecast. Again, if you like this video or you like this type of uh, content or whether or you find it useful, possibly, uh, please consider subscribing as I, I will continue to bring out content like this daily uh, and I'll, I'll um, make sure to keep the content coming throughout the rest of the year. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one.